This towering frame in West Texas is all that remains of a Hollywood movie set. Weather-worn ruins are the last remnants of the Riata Mansion, an iconic image for the film that would become a classic in American cinema. Filmed in 1955, Giant, based on the novel by Edna Ferber, opened to critical acclaim. It starred Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson and was nominated for 10 Academy Awards. It would be the last movie James Dean would make. Giant is the epic drama of three generations of a Texas ranching dynasty. The press from all over the world came there. Every day, you know, there was one particular house that was just for the press. So they would fly in, as they would fly in, another group would be coming in, you know, passing each other en route, you know. To be cast for one of the biggest movies that ever Hollywood made, you know, after Gone with the Wind was a big, big movie. I was just amazed, I couldn't believe it. Director George Stevens would challenge the frontier myth with themes of power and greed, the role of women and racial intolerance, daring and controversial themes for a changing America. Giant is a new kind of Western. It's about rethinking the myth of the frontier in the 20th century, about American capitalism, about greed, about money. Me, I'm going to have more money than you ever thought you could have. You and all the rest, you stinking sons of Benedicts. The Elizabeth Taylor character was a feminist before I think it was a subject of discussion in this country. It focused on a different kind of racial color line in the Western. This was about Mexican-American race prejudice. As Mexican-Americans, we reread it as a story, our story. This was a story that was rarely seen anywhere in the media, and for sure not in a big budget epic Hollywood movie. My father had a very strong sense of fairness and justice. And he saw the opportunity in this film to really address that subject in a way that motion pictures in America had not yet done. This is the story of the people who were there, many of them children, who witnessed firsthand the making of Giant. What they saw was a reflection of themselves not realizing that Giant would become a lasting chronicle of the very lives they were living in the summer of 1955.